New tonight at 8, taggers managed to get onto BART property during the four-day BART strike vandalizing a train. It was one of just several targeted, but the vandals did not stop there, as we'll see in this edition of People Behaving Badly. Before you jump to conclusions, this is not a New York City subway. This is Glen Park BART station in San Francisco. I have no idea how they got in here. I know how they got there, and believe it or not, it was as simple as walking down a set of steps. Vandals cut this fence that runs along the BART tracks. You can see the temporary fix using zip ties. This was an easy access to the tracks. In fact, if you follow along the tagging, it leads straight into Glen Park Station. This is terrible. This couple is not from the U.S., and it's their first time riding BART ever. I'll let him say his name. Well, tell me your name. Bertil Nordahl. Now you see why. <laughs> and you're from? I'm from Denmark in Europe. It's really ugly. It doesn't look good. Just about everything in the station was vandalized, from the courtesy phone to the yellow strips in place for the blind. Some people I spoke with told me this was done out of frustration for the BART strike. I don't know whether it's frustration of the people or... However, I disagree. To me, this was just pure destruction of property. That's, that's very bad, you know, that they do that to, to our BART station. Instead of... Uh... Keeping it nice, you know, it makes ugly. But it wasn't just the BART stations. You're looking at a BART employee cleaning up a vandalized train. Yes, taggers also spray painted BART trains. Here's a photo I obtained showing one of the trains before workers started cleaning it up. BART police are looking through surveillance videos in hopes of catching the culprits. But apparently they left no evidence like spray paint cans or gloves. Only this mess and this can of beer. And if you're wondering, yes, they walked down the tracks through the tunnel to get here. Congratulations, you now know where some of your fare will be going to clean up this mess. But it will take a couple of weeks at best. At Glen Park BART Station, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.